What's good, YouTube? Sensational Sirius here, and I'm back with another Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video. We're here for March 5th, 2021's Vendor Reset. So let's get right into this and see what we got good for this week. For our first gear items, head over to Camp Hudson. Here, the weapons vendor has a small grip red with 18% crit hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 4% optimal range. For our next gear items, we're still at Camp Hudson. Head over to the gear vendor here, and we got an operator pack with a talent inventive on there. We also here got a prototype stamina mod with 203 stamina and 3% damage to elites. And also here we got a prototype firearms mod with 267 firearms and 3% skill haste. For our next gear items, head over to the base of operations. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has an SASG-12. And also here we got a Tyrant Suppressor with 7% crit hit chance, 4% crit hit damage, and 6% headshot damage. For our next gear items, we're still at the base of operations. Head over to the advanced weaponry vendor, and here we got a military SA-58 if you like this weapon. We also here got a Super 90. Also here we got a surplus SVD. Next here we got a military L86 LSW. Next here we got an extended magazine with 120.50% magazine size, 4% crit hit damage, and 5.40% rate of fire. Also here we got a large suppressor FDE with 18% crit hit damage, 2.50% crit hit chance, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, we're still at the base of operations. Head over to the special equipment vendor, and here we got a Historian. We also here got a Pecan if you like to run this weapon. Next here we got a Liberator. We also here got a Cassidy. We also here got a First Wave Vector 45 ACP. We also here got a Police M4. Next here we got a Tactical Super 90 SBS. We also here got a Tactical Mask with the Talent Rehabilitated on there. Next here we got a Spec Ops Pack with the Talent Relentless. We also here got a Prototype Performance Mod with 4.50% Support Station Healing Speed. Next here we got Omega Rifle Suppressor with 18% Headshot Damage, 3% Create Chance, and 2% Accuracy. For our next gear items, we're still at the base of operations. Head over to the special blueprints vendor, and here we got a firearms mask blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got a flash hider blueprint with a power level 34. Also here we got a small laser pointer blueprint with a power level 34. For our next gear items, head over to the cavern. Here the gear vendor has the operator pack with the talent specialized on there. Also here we got a prototype electronics mod with 196 electronics and 3% damage to elites. For our next gear items, head over to Camp Clinton. Here the special equipment vendor has a SASG-12. We also here got a classic M60. Next here we got a Spec Ops mask with the talent rehabilitated on there. We also here got a Spec Ops armor with the talent vigorous. For our next gear items, we're still at Camp Clinton. Head over to the special blueprints vendor, and here we got an MG5 blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also here got a Stamina Gloves blueprint with a gear score of 256. And we also got an MK4 M5 A2 scope times 15 blueprint with a power level 34. For our next gear items, head over to Dante's Run. Here the gear vendor has a prototype performance mod with 2% pulse cricket chance. For our next gear items, head over to Wolf's Den. Here the weapons vendor has a military MK46. And also here we got a large suppressor FDE with 18% crit hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 5.50% hit shot damage. For our next gear items, head over to the last call. Here the weapons vendor has a tactical vector 45 ACP. For our next gear items, head over to the ward. Here the gear vendor has an operator mask with the talent refreshed on there. And we also here got prototype stamina mod with 263 stamina and 2.50% exotic damage resilience. For our next gear items, head over to the South Paul. Here the gear vendor has a prototype performance mod with 5.50% first aid ally heal. For our next gear items, head over to the firewall. Here the gear vendor has a spec ops armor with the talent vigorous. We also here got a prototype firearms mod with 184 firearms and 3% damage to elites. For our next gear items, head over to West 31st Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a prototype performance mod with 7.50% support station duration. And also here we got extended magazine with 116.50% magazine size, 4.50% reload speed, and 5.30% rate of fire. For our next gear items, head over to West 34th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a Black Market TA21. 
And also here we got a prototype performance mod with 2% pulse crit hit damage. For our next gear items, head over to West 42nd Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has an enhanced PP19. Also here we got a prototype performance mod with 3.50% secret mine damage. And also here we got a heavy magazine spring with 4% crit hit damage, 4.50% reload speed, and 10.20% rate of fire. For our next gear items, head over to West 46th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a C79 scope with 19% crit hit damage. 3% crit hit chance and 4.50% optimal range. For our next gear items, head over to West 53rd Street checkpoint. Here, the Dark Zone vendor has a tactical mask with the town enduring on there. For our next gear items, head over to East 61st Street checkpoint. Here, the Dark Zone weapon mod vendor has a heavy magazine spring with 11.50% magazine size, 3% crit hit chance, and 9.20% rate of fire. Also here we got an angle grip with 13% stability, 2% accuracy, and 4% crit damage. And next here we got a reflex sight with 7.50% crit chance, 2% accuracy, and 4% crit hit damage. For our next gear items, head over to East 58th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a tactical mask with the talent enduring on there. Next here we got a gunslinger vest with the talent reckless. For our next gear items, head over to the Park Ave checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Weapons Vendor has the classic AK-47. For our next gear items, head over to East 42nd Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has an Operator Pack with the talent specialized on there. And also here we got a prototype stamina mod with 260 stamina and 3% signature ability resource gain. For our next gear items, head over to East 40th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has an Operator Pack with the talent Relentless on there. For our next gear items, head over to East 34th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a converted USC. Also here we got an operator mask with the talent enduring. And also here we got a prototype stamina mod with 267 stamina and 1% creative chance. For our next gear items, head over to the 5th Ave Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has a tactical pack with the talent relentless on there. For our next gear items, head over to DZ2 Safe Room. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a tactical mask with the talent rehabilitated on there. Next here we got a Spec Ops armor with the talent vigorous. And also here we got some operator gloves with the talent savage on there. For our next gear items, head over to DZ3 Safe Room. Here the Dark Zone weapons vendor has a paratrooper SVD. And also here we got a classic RPK-74. For our next gear items, head over to DZ5 Safe Room. Here the Dark Zone Weapon Mod Vendor has a vertical grip with 49% optimal range, 4% crit hit damage, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, head over to DZ8 Safe Room. Here the Dark Zone Gear Vendor has an Operator Mask with the Talent Refreshed on there. Also here we got a Tactical Pack with the Talent Specialized. For our next gear items, head over to DZ9 Safe Room. Here the Dark Zone Weapon Mod Vendor has a high velocity magazine with 7.50% crit hit chance, 4% crit hit damage, and 4.70% rate of fire. Also here we got a loud vent break with 18% crit hit damage, 4.50% optimal range, and 2.50% stability. Alright everyone, that's it for our Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video for March 5th, 2021's Vendor Reset. Hope everybody tuned in to it, found them something that they needed. Smash on that sub and like button, y'all. Appreciate that support. And I'll see y'all with the next one, everybody. Take care. Peace.